Science. This skeleton, discovered by a nine-year-old boy near Johannesburg in South Africa, is being hailed as one of the most important finds in human archaeology. It is argued the skeleton provides the possible missing link between ape men and the human family. It had a tiny brain, long arms, a chimp-sized body and ape-like heels. But it was also partly human, with long thumbs, short fingers and a human-shaped brain. Those features of the skeleton, which lived about two million years ago, have led scientists to conclude it is in fact our ancestor. I think that without a doubt, I mean, these are the most complete skeletons of early humans that have ever been discovered. And, and quite literally, uh, we're going to have to rewrite some textbooks. This reconstruction shows how our ancestor could have looked. The bones were found in 2008 in the fossil-rich cave region of Malapa near Johannesburg. It is only recently that a team of 80 scientists who worked on it have published their conclusions in the journal Science. The origins of our species, the origins of humankind, lie here on the African continent. That to the seven billion people that are now living in all corners of the, of the planet, that the early ancestry came from Africa. That the human beings that we are today, the human migration started in Africa, but even as that migration started, the evidence that we are accumulating now is that the early ancestry was right here in Africa, the cradle of humankind, parts of Kenya, parts of Tanzania. Not all scientists, however, agree that the skeleton was a direct human ancestor, saying Homo erectus may have evolved before it.